Hello, Magnum Man 2010 here again. Uh, I've been watching Lit Motor and a few other guys making these what they're calling uh, pickle cells. <laughs> uh, lead and uh, alm mixed together. So I had to give that a try and I thought I'd share my results with you folks. Uh, what I did is I went to, a, I found a sheet metal shop that had a roll of sheet lead. And I had them cut me off a piece about four inches wide and 36 inches long. Gave me something to play with. <laughs> then I, uh, I took, uh, and I cut them up like this. About eight of them. That's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Remember, you're working with lead. Wash your hands a lot. <laughs> anyway, I cut up eight of these. And I cut up some, you see in that jar in front of me there, uh, I cut four of them up, actually five of them. Uh, they're about three by three inches, the sheets are. I'll talk about them a little bit later. What I did, what I did with these is I uh, took and I wrapped one in paper towel, a piece like this right here, and just uh, wrapped it up in it, you know, the whole thing. And then I took uh, and put one of one of these uh, on either side of it, with the uh, little tabs here uh, facing so they weren't touching one another. I'll show you one of them too here. Uh, pull one up here. Here's one I put together right here. Kind of messy, but you can see it. Okay. Anyway, I put the paper towel sandwiched, uh, in, it sandwiched the red piece wrapped in paper towel in between two of these. Then I took some zip ties and passed them together. And what I used for uh, for the electrolyte in there, I took a pint of water and three heaping teaspoons of alm. This stuff right here. And that's all that's in them. I dissolved it real good and I put them in containers after they were put together and uh, submerged them in there. On this one over here, since it's exactly the same as these, except they're uh, three inch square sheets. And it's, uh, again, it's uh, one sheet wrapped in uh, paper towel. I think it's probably about two paper towels wrapped around that thing. And, and, and then a sheet on either side of it. And I'm using the outside sheets as the negative terminals and the uh, center sheet as the positive terminal. Uh, over here on this one here, basically the same, except I use two sheets with a paper towel in between them. And I bent them so they're uh, crescent shaped. They fit inside the jar nicely that way. And uh, I fastened them together uh, before I put them in the jar with a couple of zip ties. And that one there, I used Epsom salts. For a pint of water, I put in 10 heaping tablespoons of Epsom salt. Dissolved it very uh, well first. And that we'll get back to later too on how it worked out. Uh, I took uh, two of them, like this, these two up here. And what I did with them is I soaked them in that solution for about three days. And then I took them out and I took off the uh, zip ties and I removed the piece of lead from one side and I sprinkled a little bit of alm on there and put the lead back on, flipped it over and took that one off and sprinkled a little alm on there. And then I simply taped them up. That one there with a, says A on it, it's running this little pulse motor right here. You can see that all right. And it's been running this for a couple hours now. It'll run it for a long time, believe me. <laughs> Anyway, I'll start out with uh, these two up here on how they worked out, okay? That number one and two there, I call them, uh, I had them hooked in parallel. They're not hooked in parallel right now. And one of them is running that uh, little pulse motor there. But anyway, I had them hooked in parallel when I, parallel when I did the test. I charged, charged them uh, with 2.5 volts for three hours. And the motor ran, the little pulse motor, I hooked it up and it ran for 22 hours on that charge. Okay. 
after they were uh, run down, I charged them again, but this time I charged with 12 volts for 15 seconds, and the motor ran for five hours. Okay, and I thought that was pretty darn good. Uh, on number six over here that I'm calling number six anyway, the one in the jar right there. That one there I charged with three volts for an hour and a half. The motor ran for 21 hours. I charged with nine volts for 30 seconds and the motor ran for four hours. I charged it with 12 volts for 15 seconds and the motor ran for five hours. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, I thought. And now, now I'm getting over to this one here. This is the one I made with the Epsom salts. 10 heaping tablespoons of Epsom salts in two pints of water, or in one pint of water. I knew I charged it with four volts for five minutes. The motor ran for five hours. I charged it with four volts for 20 minutes, and the motor ran for 17 hours. These are quite the little, little, little batteries. <laughs> Little cells, they were pretty darn good. I was watching Lead Motor Channel, of course, he'd been making the lead batteries, and so I decided to try and duplicate some that would look something like his, and uh, I'm surprised at how, how well they work. I actually have a little rechargeable battery. You can see this one here, uh, I just taped them up, and I can use them for anything I want. Just put a charge on them for a minute or two, and they'll last for several hours. They really work great. I want to share that with everybody. Again, remember you're working with lead, so wash your hands frequently. Not too. You can see they're working pretty good. I can find them. I got this new camera and I have it on a tripod and I'm moving it around. I'll uh, see if I can zoom in on one once here. Ooh, zooming out, a little motor here. It's running great. This one here is too. I'll give you another look at these uh, batteries here. See if I can show you one exactly how I made it a little better. Not dripping all over the place here. You can see that all right. Just some zip locks, zip ties, three pieces. Oop. I keep losing the thing. <laughs> there it is. Pretty simple, but it works really neat. Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. I was really surprised at how long they uh, they'll run on a small charge. I haven't really put a real long charge on one, but. But uh, running 17 hours <laughs> on hardly no charge, you know, just uh, this one here was a 20 minute charge with four volts and it ran 20, uh, 17 hours. This one right here, right there. Well, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Thanks very much for watching.